So today I'm going to be talking about using the Riley palette uh, to maintain value relationships in a painting. Uh, these days we almost all use photographs. Uh, well, not all of us, but uh, yeah, well, all of us. <laughs> anyway, uh, many of us use, use photographs. And so the, the issue though, uh, with, with photos, the problem is with this, these brilliant devices, you know, these fabulous uh, pieces of equipment that we use, they have some tremendous shortcomings. And uh, in fact, Frank Dumont, the great teacher at the Art Students League in New York, years and years ago, of course, cameras have come a long way since then. But still, he said he called the camera the one-eyed liar. And uh, I would say that on some level, some of that stuff uh, still applies. Now, what I mean by that is that, uh, you know, there's still lens distortion. And of course, uh, even since we're using color now, which of course uh, Frank would have had back then, but there's color variations, you know, where you can, you can get color drift and you can also take and, and well, okay, the camera also compresses the value range. And so you might have a value range that's this big and the, and the, the camera will go ahead and out of necessity, it'll go ahead and, and reduce that down. It'll compress that. And so, in fact, I've, I've seen, uh, <laughs> this is, you know, this is, I've, I've seen photographs. Now, granted, this is, this is like an old photograph from maybe the 40s or 50s or something with, uh, you know, black and white picture with like Humphrey Bogart or something. Uh, we'll say a movie star. And they'll have like a white collar on and a black suit. And they'll have the source of light up here. And then, of course, that'll put shadow on their shoulder over here. And their white collar will almost disappear against the black suit. It's like they're, you, you almost can't tell the difference between the white collar and the black, and the black suit. That cannot happen uh, in, in real life. You know, uh, this, this can never turn into this, you know, in, uh, in, a, in a shadow. You know, the human eye can, can look in there, <clears throat> excuse me, the human eye will look in there, always be able to differentiate, you know. And so uh, there's, all, there's always consistent, I'll put that down, there's, so there's always consistent, uh, there are consistent value, there is consistent value structure in everything that we, that we see. And uh, we can pull off those, uh, those structured values, you know, with a, with a loose palette, right? I mean, you know, we can, we can take and <clears throat> arrange our colors and, and by eye and, uh, you know, and, and take and, and say, okay, make sure that uh, this, is, this is set up to, to look closer to what the human eye sees using, we'll just say using, you know, loose palette like this. However, I got, I'm gonna just tell you, just from firsthand experience, you know, the Riley palette makes, makes pulling this off a whole lot easier. Uh, and, and I would say primarily that's because you can bracket your values. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so for example, uh, with this white blouse right here, I've gone ahead and I've taken, you know, here's, here's white, obviously. Here's white, and then what I've done is I've got like a four value, one, two, three, four. I've got a four value range here. <clears throat> that white blouse is gonna be painted using this four value range. And so the darkest dark on the blouse is gonna, is gonna be right here. And of course the lightest light, you know, we'll say up on the top here. That's, that's, that's all I got, <laughs> that's all I've got to work with, but still, here I am, the darkest dark. Okay, so there's there's my there's my white blouse. Okay, so that's a bracketed this this item here. We'll call you know this item this blouse has now got this four value bracketed range on it. Next, I've gone ahead and I've got the flesh right here, and that is bracketed from here to here. So I've got half a value here, one two three, and then half a value. So I've got four values here, and actually I've gone ahead and. I do this from time to time. I'll, I'll put tape here to go ahead and uh, bracket that visually. I mean that that way. These are like these are like fences. These are like <laughs> right. I don't go below that. I don't go or actually go below that or go above that uh, while I'm painting. Uh, and it just it just kind of helps me in the moment while I'm you know deep in thought while I'm trying to uh, you know pull off uh, you know the skin on the on the on the painting. But anyway, so this is the skin like that. And just to show you an example, so this is this right here. 
it's, it's a little over, but the point is that this right here is the darkest dark on the skin. And so we're right here, right? We're back in here, the darkest section of the skin. And compare that with the darkest section, which is all the way up here on the blouse. And so there's all this relative, there's, there's, there's all this luminosity that is, is retained in the work, which frankly you see. So when you're, you know, when, if, if you were there, you're, you're there looking at this with, with your own eyes, you'll see it'll look more like, it, it'll look like this. It'll look a lot closer to this than it did the photograph or a photograph. This was created from a number of photographs, but it'll look closer to anything. I'll just say, I'll submit anything that a photograph will tend to put out because I purpose to go ahead and bracket my values. Uh, same thing applies to the Vespa, <clears throat> excuse me. The red Vespa was painted from here to here. There's the four values on that. So the darkest area in the Vespa is over here. Stuff out in the light is over in here. And of course, everything is, you know, everything is pulled off in that range. Black is down here, of course. And so I've got uh, that down here, and then this would be something in the light. The one exception I should probably talk about quickly is that this, uh, hand, this, this hand grip, this, this handlebar grip was uh, brand new. Uh, I know because I put it on, uh, was brand new. And anyway, the shiny plastic on that uh, was reflective, you know. So when something is shiny and it's exactly reflecting the sun, you know, all bets are off on this, on this value structure stuff. You just have to go ahead and understand it's acting like a mirror. So anyway, I think that's about it uh, for this. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try and respond to them uh, as uh, time allows. And uh, my name is Chris Mummert. Thanks for watching.